I'm here to show you how to add the eight foot of restriction uh, for altitude to the uh, beer line that was already sent to you from our factory. So I have a piece that is the same as what we sent you, has the uh, nut on this end and a little what's called a splicer or a uh, barb on this end. This piece we don't need quite yet. The first step is to take the keg coupler using a pair of any type of pliers that will fit around this top nut. You loosen it up. Inside there is going to be a rubber washer that comes out. Once you get that out, you take cutters. We have tubing cutters. You can use scissors or anything. And on the existing line that is attached to the dispenser, you will cut this piece off right here and you can discard this. The next step is to remove the tape that is taping the beer line to the carbon dioxide line. I'm just going to use a pocket knife to do that. You can use a razor blade, you can use whatever you want to break it loose. Once you have it broken loose, I clean off the electrical tape that's here. And then you want to place the end of the beer line that you're working with in some warm water. I've got a little bit of warm water here. What that does is it allows the tubing to become flexible enough to place this barb inside the tubing. So it allows you to stretch the tubing over the barb that's here. Um, the extra heat in the line makes that quite a bit easier. So you're going to take your hose, uh, the hose clamp that we sent you, you're going to take it, and once you stretch the line over, the longer you let it sit in the warm water and the hotter the water is, the easier it'll be. You can see that I have it stretched over. There's probably a half inch inside of here. You really only need the width of the clamp over the bar. Once you have that over there, I sent you one of these tools. It's a nut driver, so you just start to spin the clamp until it snugs down all the way on the beer line. Once you feel it start to clamp down, you just have to give it a little bit more you'll feel it start to squeeze, and then you're good to go. So now, we gotta figure out what to do with all of this line here. So we've got all this line. What we do is we take the electrical tape, you route the CO2 line back up and towards the, uh, where the dispenser lines come through, and you just put a wrap of tape to start it. And so now, you work your way down towards the keg coupler, giving just a couple wraps as you go. When you get down to the keg coupler, you're going to actually gently loop the beer line back. You'll leave a loop like that, loose so it's not kinked. If you kink it all the way, it'll cause foam in the line. And then you start working your way back up towards where you first started taping the beer line to it. When you get up to the top, you're going to make a loop just like you did with the first one and then continue to work the line back down. And now you'll see that I don't have enough line to go all the way back up and all the way back down. So I'm going to put that little washer that was in there back in because that's what seals the beer line to the top of the keg coupler. You're going to tighten that up. You'll feel it go snug, and then you just have to give it a little bit of a turn 
with some pliers to engage that seal. And now, you bring the line back down, and then you start sending it back up the line, making another loop. And when it gets to where you have this nice little loop down here, so you can, I'll show you that again. I've got this line here, I'm bringing it down. I match the loop that I had before, and I start going back up the CO2 line until I get this nice little loop here. You take some of your tape, give it a wrap at this end, making sure not to kink the line. Coming down here and doing the same thing. So now you have another eight feet of beer line on this uh, um, on this uh, valve. You can see that it's going you know up and then down and then back and then up. It's taped nicely to this, so when you're moving it around, it's not going to get in the way. It's not going to get the rest of it, and you'll get the amount of restriction that you need.